łódźnika. We are back. We missed you. Welcome back here to Pro League 2016. We are going into Hero against Reality. Um, who are you thinking for this one? Uh, I'll have to go with Hero for this one. I mean, Reality is looking better, but it's it's Hero. You, you can't really vote against Hero uh, in this state of the game. I mean, he's just still been pretty solid across the board, and uh, I, I just think he was the better choice for me. What about you? Uh, I went Hero. I don't have any real insight here. I mean, this is pretty basic. Like, right? yeah, it's hero. yeah, it's Hero. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think a lot of uh, the team probably thought Solar was going to win, so they can ensure that some of these guys can come out and maybe do a solid job. I think uh, Hush against Bravo might be a lot closer than people realize. Oh, yeah. Which I, I, th I, I think makes that the most one. pivotal match in this entire series. I'm pretty sure the predictions as well for us were 4-3, to three, so that's when you really know it's it's pretty even there. Uh, it can't get more even than four with, to three. With, with this one people. or with the next match? With the next one. Okay, okay. I was gonna say I, I really with this would, one. I'm like, well, I think it's gonna be seven zero hero. <laughs> yeah. You know, the <laughs> reality is like, oh, I gotta play against who? Hero? Oh, Damn. Man. Okay. Well, let's see what is going to happen now. Uh, a lot of pressure on this guy right now. Don't forget that Solar lost early on. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, they, so, they, pressure they on him. him to win, uh, I, I believe, to, to make it into the ace match. They still could rely on Bravo, but as we've seen, he hasn't been doing all that well. Um, we've seen he's been pretty good in TBT in the past, but I don't know about this map. It's it's Arena. Uh, obviously, there's a fourth game I'm talking about, uh, right. Bravo versus Hush, but Arena, it's, it's going to be a TVP. It's going to be kind of wonky there, so I'm, I'm not quite sure how that one's going to go down, but this one... I think should be a little bit more one-sided. So right now, uh, we do see that Reality is a, a little bit over 50-50, a little bit more of an impressive lead here for Hero. Uh, keep in mind, guys, you know, most of the time, the top pro gamers are at like 63% wins. Yeah. You know, it, it's not like they're uh, way, way above. We've only had a couple moments in Brood War at its height that we have some crazy stats, like Jadon with a 90% in ZBZ. Yeah. Everybody kept saying it's rock, paper, scissors, and he's like, He's well, like, not, no, not, I am not when I'm playing it. It's not. I, I am the outlier. Yeah, I am Come the on, outlier. Look at me. There was I love OOV uh, TVZ 75% win rate ratio, and this is not surprising. Everybody over here predicting Hero is going to be the one to move on. Yeah, got seven and zero once again. Here we'll see if it works out. All right, or, guys, uh, we are okay. going into our game. Let's see what happens. Let's go. In the bottom left, in the yellow, we have our Protoss player, the favorite tonight. He is Hero. Ooh, he matches his keyboard keys. Color coordination is everything, guys. In the upper left, in the blue, he is Reality. Yeah, notice how he does not color code. So uh, as you were saying, definitely the key to victory here. Tonight. That's right, man. Look at your keyboard. If it's not color coded, you're doing something wrong. You're doing it wrong, man. You gotta coordinate. So, uh, going into this game, uh, we already know. By, by the way, really funny placement here by Hero. I have never seen that placement like that. Uh, we'll, we'll get a shot of it in a second. That's. <laughs> it's pretty very cute. Safe. I, I guess it's to kind of shore the Reaper to one side. If the turn is going for Reaper, it looks like Reality is just going to go for a CC first. A uh, bit of a greedy build, but it's a big map. He's playing against a guy that he's definitely not favored against, so I like the idea from Reality. You know what this looks like, actually? You, you never played Brood War at all, right? Uh, no, no. This no, is what the placement that used to look like a lot of times on Brood War, because the pathing in Brood War wasn't always a straight line. So, But you could make your building so that it would force the workers to go in a straight line so you could mine faster. Huh. I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that there were two workers there for a while. Somebody somebody test this out. I just want to see if there's two workers. I mean, no, no, because, no, think about it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Because don't they always mine in a perfectly straight line? Yeah, I, I believe right? so. With StarCraft 2. I wonder if with 2. I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, they're just I find that placement pretty intriguing. Um, now, we've seen Bomber do builds like Realities to uh, less success. So uh, I'm curious to see what Reality has in store for us. It's going to be different from Bomber here now. That guy in the audience is going to the military. Poor guy. Poor guy. There is, that, uh, uh, there is compulsory military service required for all able-bodied uh, Koreans. Um, so, right at around... Korean men. Korean yep. men, I should say. Yes, thank you. And so, right at around the age of... Um, maybe it's 20, 21 or something. Sometimes uh, sometimes a little bit older. You have to yeah. go to this, do the military service for two years. And With, I think you have to do it before 30. But some of the pro gamers were so big that they were actually able to delay it for yeah, a bit. If you're like a mega celebrity out here, you can get it extended. Yeah. So we do have a robotics coming out of Hero here. Uh, I don't believe he has scouted where reality is just yet. So very greedy build, just playing safe back in his own base. But he's going to see him now with the Mothership Core. He's going to see everything over here. May even be able to get a couple of kills. Well. Just going to do a bit of damage and float away. Yeah, a little bit of bruising there on those workers. We had, we do have the Adept coming out in a second one uh, just now being released from the gateway. Terran is getting that engineering bay, gearing up for the later part of the game. There are a lot of different attacks that Protoss can do. We're going to see in a little bit here with the tech coming up. And it looks like it's going to be a disruptor drop. Wow, that's going to be pretty cool. I mean, he, he scouted it. I'm not sure if this is kind of... He's saying, okay, I got the scout, now I'm going to switch up the build a little bit, tailor to where my opponent is, or if he was trying to go for this all along. But uh, we saw this the other day. I forget who was playing yesterday. Uh, Protoss was going for uh, Disruptor Drop. That was TY versus Trap. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Trap got a couple of crazy hits. Oh, what? Oh, he messed up. <laughs> Oops. He messed that up. Okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, unexpected. I don't believe that'll be too impactful here. The Warp Prism is out. A nice scan will reveal everything that was planned out uh, in this game. He is going to go ahead now. Now, he's sending the Warp Prism already. Is he just going to elevator this? Yeah, I suppose so. Bury this Can into the main. Elevator yep. them in. I'm... He's making two gateways now behind this. I think he's only got one Warp Gate right now. So, just an elevator for now. Just be a little I'm... bit cheeky. What? What? What is he doing? I don't even understand. Game paused. Okay, something weird's going on. He's like, hey, uh, yeah, I'm not happy uh, with my adept drop here. <laughs> something is weird. I came in at the wrong angle. Can we restart huh. the game? This is... Yeah, I was actually looking at that as one of those was hitting the uh, the refinery, and I'm like, yeah. okay, what is he doing? Because if you're going to drop just two adepts, you have to micro them like crazy, or it just does not work. Well, seems like he's getting some news that he's not very happy with. I don't. I don't think they're going to be able to uh, like restart the game or anything weird like well, we that. Don't, we don't. Well, I mean, we It'll don't even know. Be, we don't even know why it's it's actually happening. So let's not. Let's yeah, not get I ahead of ourselves. It could be hotkey. You know, maybe he thought he had something hotkey. Didn't he have this like up. last time he played when we cast it? Wasn't there some kind of problem uh, like this? Yeah, I think maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and if it happened before and he gets another warning, that's really dangerous. You get close to losing points if that is the case. Okay, well, there's some deliberation. Uh, we'll be notified hopefully shortly here so we can tell you guys what exactly is going on. Uh, kind of a weird moment for reality, especially with this weird drop that I don't even understand. I don't know why he would make a disruptor and then send a warp prism. Like, the, like, while the Disruptor's coming out, he has a War Prism there. I guess he just wants to do a little bit of damage with the Adepts and then come back and get the Disruptor. Come but back. I, He's getting speed, too, so he can... Uh, Hi, guys. Welcome. Yeah, welcome down once again. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> so we find out I actually like, cast this with my shoes like up on the desk like this, <laughs> get comfortable. Um, well, guys, we don't actually know what's going on um, yet. We're still kind of waiting. And so, hopefully we get notified about that soon. Um, yeah. Can can you see him from where you're at, man? Let I'm me not go sure. ahead and uh, Oh, no, check. he's on the other side. No, Hero's over here. Uh, they got oh, a couple of refs in there, actually. His hotkey setup got erased. I was just notified. So, if that was the second time, he may be close to losing points here. Well, tasteless. no, but I mean, that, that's weird, though. I mean... How does it get erased mid-game? 
That is That's what I was getting at. It's like that no, doesn't happen. normally it happens right at the start, right? Yeah, where you realize where you're like, like oh, oh, okay. Yeah. This isn't working. I don't know of any way to actually set it back to default. I don't I think, think there's, I, there's there's not like a hotkey for that, right? I like set don't to default. Think so. I, I, don't I don't think so. No. I don't that would be weird. Maybe he doesn't notice until like right when he had to like That's get a certain upgrade. Like he tried to go do something and he realized like, oh, I can't do this, and then he wanted to pause so he could fix it. <laughs> That's generally what I don't happens, know. But. Um, there's a chance we might be going to a break here. It's not clear uh, if we can't get this resolved. Well, we see spinning. right now talking to the coach here. That is the uh, the two coaches here for CJ, and there might be occasionally the coaches come in and act as arbiters for the uh, the players. Kind of a tense moment here. There's a lot of pressure going on right now here in this match specifically. Um, definitely a moment here where uh, you, uh, you got to imagine Samsung. Pro oh wait, hold on. We're ready to go. It looks like we're ready. I mean, Hero saying "Go go yo," and it's Reality saying it as well. But we're waiting for Spo to actually start it. They might still have to issue some kind of penalty. Um, it's a pretty de big deal to pause in a match. Because a lot of people feel like that can put you at occasionally like an unfair advantage. Like let's say you just saw a tech and you can't really quite map out in your head what to do, so you pause it. Yeah. You're it also like, can throw off the next move. Right, and you can also uh, be thrown off rhythm a little bit. I mean, anybody who's like been in the middle of an intense game with a friend and then you pause it and like I don't know, like somebody's at the door yeah. and your friend is not one of those douchebags on the internet that unpauses it and tries to kill you anyways. <laughs> um, then you know what happens when you come back and try to play, and it's. It's like really hard, right? You're like, okay, what am I doing? Because you already had all these tasks you were juggling in your head, right? Yeah. Like you might forget to get two two or something because you just you're off rhythm. So um, tense moment here. So I was just notified a couple keys on his keyboard are not working. It is not a uh, hotkey issue. It's actually his keyboard's not working. However, it is. I've also been notified it is his own equipment that yeah. he brought to the studio. And that could cause a problem here because um, it is your responsibility as a professional gamer to have your stuff working when you get down here. And um, I believe, yeah, I'm actually, sure I don't even believe. I, I, I know for a fact that players are allowed to test out their equipment early when they get here to make yeah. sure there are How no does issues. How do you not notice that in the test? How do you not notice it when you're practicing? Well, I don't, I, I don't know if studio. he was here for this test or not. I mean, that's that's the question. It's um, possible. I think he's going to have to play through the game regardless. That is crazy. He's got to bind it to some new key and play like that. That, I don't know, Tasteless. I do. Tasteless you know? knows. No, I don't know, Tasteless. That's not I'm good. I'm really confused. That's not good. Um, the show must go on. <laughs> I guess that's, that's, right. the way, that's the way it goes. <laughs> that's that's what happens. We have to continue on with the game. We have so the countdown we starting now. We have the countdown, now. and then he paused again. He's, like, unhappy. He's like, wait, no. I'm not we sure. Now, now, now I'm not sure what. Yeah, now you don't know, right, Tasteless? <laughs> now you're joining me in the group of Now I don't here. know. Um, yeah. Well, the units moved slightly, and then CJ well, the problem just is, paused is that it again. The so problem is if you pause it again, then you can also get, you can also get carded. I, I think he's going to be losing some points here. Well, let's not call it yet. Uh, we're going to be notified if he is. Yeah, we'll see it on the graph. Or on the so now there's I, you know the problem whatever. is is that if, if some of your keys and your keyboard aren't working usually that means it's like about to break down. Yeah, it's not like you're like what oh if it breaks it's the a game it's a perfectly PPP, it's uh, what if you can't even pause it we just watch him kind of die like it's a glitched uh, glitched <laughs> game. Well, I mean here's the thing, man. Like uh, normally if your keys are not working on a keyboard, it's a very good sign that everything is about to break. Yeah. It's it's not like yeah. no, nobody has a perfectly good keyboard where it's like the J key just doesn't work. That's not how it normally works, the way the circuitry is below uh, your keys. So I'm not sure. We're going to try to be filled in as much as possible. No, number, number one, one key, key doesn't work. Okay. Oh, oh my God. No. The number one we key go. went out. And that's also an indicator. Okay, we had to pause <laughs> again. again. Well, okay, well, here's the problem, guys. If Normally, when it, keys break on keyboards, it's the area around the keys. So if you look at your, that would be I mean Q, W, 2. Uh, if he uses tab, I use tab actually as a hotkey mm -hmm. when I play. I have all yep. my gates hotkeyed tab. That could be an issue. So now again, the, the the issue that's going on right now, guys, is it's it's his equipment. So if your equipment goes out, it's yeah. Now he's showing. He's like, look at this, look at this. This is a problem. Um, I think we have some more. So the one I, thing I'm, that I 
One the thing that I don't know is, can he switch it out for just a regular keyboard mid game? Is well, he allowed we, to do we, that? We, well, we don't know. I don't know what the rules are because this basically I would love to get the this basically never happens. Rule about that, yeah. So this has never happened while I've casted. No, actually, this is my first experience. So you guys are experiencing that with me. I don't know about you, Tasteless. If this is this has happened to, to me, but um, it was like way early in GSL and the rules were yeah. not as, as yeah, strict. Yeah. It was like first two GSLs when really it was just like. GSL's trying to figure out how to run a show. Yeah. So yeah. I don't – I'm not sure. Um, this is really anticlimactic. Yeah, we're like, big game, he's going for a drop, and it's like all of a sudden the one key doesn't well, work. Well, here's the other problem too, man. Think about this, okay? Let me see. That is – that's a strat where it's all micro. He's going disruptor. Yeah. Okay, it's not even like he's massing how's, how's up. How's he going to play the game? Look at that. One dun, dun, dun. We're going to switch keyboards. Okay. All right. Like so those he is key allowed. colors. That makes a lot of sense. If he wasn't allowed, I'd just be like, well, do you want him to lose because of something he couldn't control? Or Well, I mean, there, there's a couple you know, arguments we made on both sides, I right? He could have been prepared. And he could have been that, prepared. But, but mid-game, you know? Well, I mean, that's why you bring a keyboard that's not going to break you know, mid-game. <laughs> you, you, you have high-end equipment that is... Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. Looks like he might be using one of his teammates' keyboards. Okay, so the referees have okayed this. We don't. We haven't been told yet if he's going to be uh, receiving any kind of penalty. Players that pause too much do get pe uh, penalized in tournaments. Yeah. The other problem is that he's pausing here twice without. Uh, without and they're, they're, he's going to be taking Ragnarok's here keyboard here. Yeah. So hopefully that keyboard is not cursed from that last uh, brutal loss. It might be tasteless after Could what be. happened to him. The curse of the DT. That's Third right. Templar curse. Maybe he loses the DTs now. His keyboard maybe, just disappears. Maybe, maybe he was like, already what? cursed, and there's actually DTs that were uh, damaging his keyboard inside. Maybe that's little tiny is. DTs, yeah. like the size you of ants. You can't see him. You need a little tiny observer to come in. <laughs> yeah, a little baby observer, like a little one, like this. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, hopefully we get this game started. This uh, we do apologize for the delay here. Yeah, although we, it's we've not had our a fault. couple of unlucky days in a row here. I'm sure it'll all be yeah. okay by Thursday and for next week as well, uh, for next week of Pro League. Well, I mean, definitely. I mean, it's not just you know our normal fans of the you know Pro League that are watching. It's the other teams that compete as well. You know, when the coaches see this happen for one player, they're going to be very uh, strict with the other players about mm -hmm. making sure their equipment is is working. Yeah. And um, yeah, I. I'm not sure. I don't know what kind of prep uh, Hero did when he got down here, but that that's pretty serious. It's also a bit strange that it happened, what was it, um, about five minutes into the game to notice that yeah. your one key is not working? It's a weird timing. I, I, guess, right? he, I guess he just hotkeyed this group of units that were going into the Warp Prism, you know, the two adepts in the Warp Prism. Maybe he just made it a hotkey at that moment, and he's like, I can't hotkey this. What's going on? I don't on? know. I mean, doesn't any, everybody hotkey the first thing they have is one, though? Like, the first adept, the, Generally, the scouting maybe. probe. And he, Hero is, uh, by the way, Hero's used up all three of his pauses here. No We've more pauses. If it doesn't no more work, pauses. If it does not pause. work, it, when, they, when he plugs this that's in, it. yeah, we do have a limit on, on how many pauses you have here. So if it does not work, that's a problem. Yeah. I think you should have made sure everything was 100% correct and asked for yeah. a keyboard switch before using that last pause so he would have one more pause. I think he's well, failing I mean, a little bit on the pause strategy. I know this doesn't happen very often, but... You know, like I to think that you have to be a bit careful. Well, I mean, I think it's this. an issue, or um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. This this is this kind of sucks for Hero, but it, it, I mean, there's not much that we can really do. We uh, we have to enforce the rules as, yeah. as we have them set up here at at at, uh, at Spo because without rules, we would have pauses like all the time. And believe me, uh, back when there like were not that, rules that about light pauses, is too bright, you know, yeah, my chair isn't the right height. Hold on a second. Back when there not when there were not strict rules about pausing, that people paused a lot, and it was a serious issue, especially at overseas tournaments uh, outside Korea. Yeah, people were pausing like two or three times a game, and eventually they had to be pretty strict about enforcing this. We're back in the game. Good luck with your keyboard, hero. Uh, I think we're going to know pretty quickly if there's any issues. Oh my god. Oh my god. This oh, is a disaster. No. Okay. Okay. Well, um, uh, I think he tried to pause, and that's why it said he resumed the game while it was already going. And then Spo was like, oh, okay, okay we got to pause. Okay, guys, sit tight. We're going to be waiting uh, for the verdict on what's going to happen with this. You know. Um, this is very unfortunate. This. Uh, Unfortunate for Hero, unfortunate for his team. 
for unfortunate for the viewers for us we are, uh, <laughs> fortunate for the casters i am uh, i would really prefer to be casting a game here but yeah. look i mean we're gonna we're gonna find out here what the rules are but this is a pivotal uh game here because remember hero is the favorite by far for this match specifically yeah. so if, if, if they end up getting lost here um yeah. You know, there, there's so many problems with this, too, because if you plug in a keyboard and he had used it. The same thing can is you, Can you say that again, keyboard. Jay? The same thing? Yeah. The same, same problem, problem is happening to the new keyboard. What? Number one key's <laughs> not working. Okay, that's. What? <laughs> now this isn't even just making any sense, Tasteless. This is really weird. Okay, I don't. I don't know what to say, guys. Um, yeah. Well, we got some time to kill then uh, before this can actually be resolved because this is... I've never... I've been casting for... When did I start casting? I first casted... Was I'm it like 19, eight years now? 10 years. I've casted ten for 10 years? years. I've never even... I've wow. never seen a problem, not just StarCraft, but like other games too. I've never, yeah. I've never in my life seen uh, a situation like this. This problem specifically? You know, when we first started GSL... Uh, one of the big issues uh, surrounding that was that there was a hotkey that would turn off uh, uh, your sound. Oh, and so yeah. players, yeah, you know, that. they're nervous, they're like a little <laughs> bit shaky, and so the game would start, and they would, uh, especially if they were tearing, you know, making SCVs, they yeah. would, uh, and they would shut off uh, in-game sound, and then they would pause and say, I lost sound. Yeah. And, um, and so that, that happened a lot, and eventually people got the hang of it. I've seen it where... Um, the, Mouse settings, that was a, the initial huge problem in Brood War was people couldn't get their mouse settings right. Because that's back when mouse, when, when mice, we, you call it mice? Do you call mice, yeah. No, but do you call plural of, 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 yeah, of mouses? Is it not, it's not mouses? <laughs> no, I don't think Are, it's mice. Is mice only for the animal? No, I, think, I think it's for this. Somebody it's, it's, look it up, let us know on Twitter. Someone tweet it, tasteless. Somebody tweet it, tasteless. So <laughs> the, the, the big issue... Okay, I've been updated again. They're now uh, we're like we're, we're worried the situation right now. Tastes. Well, that's literally what casters do, man. We live report all this stuff. Um, we actually are being told that they think it might be a problem with the computer and not the keyboard. Because well, I, I was gonna say this is like not a a, a thing. Normally, it's uh, we have these big lights outside the booth, so a lot of times uh, players will start, especially ones with glasses, and say that the light is. You know, uh, yeah. getting into my eyes. In terms of pausing, you mean? In terms of pausing, another one. I forgot um, to hotkey something. Or so, Sorry. Okay. We're going to go to a five minute break while we try to get this sorted out. We'll be back hopefully in just a little bit. So stay tuned until your friends will join us here at Pro League 2016. <laughs> we back. Tasis and Valdez, uh, I believe the game should be ready to go. I believe we are resuming from a specific point in the game. Yeah, looks like it. Everybody getting into that recovery play. And Pray to the gods of keyboards. The gods of keyboards, the gods of PCs even. Uh, finally getting that computer switched yes. out. Hopefully, uh, you know, Heroes okay. After this, we are beginning to recover. It, it wasn't a very long game. Obviously, we were only like five minutes in. So, we're yeah, gonna th test thank this God. One, see if it works, and if it works, then we'll go with it. Okay, guys. Um, by the way, I've been told it's actually mice. It's yeah. just mice is plural. Mm -hmm. Thank you, internets. Yeah, favorite. All those tweets, tasteless. I Gotta was. All those favorites I'm giving him little hearts. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting there with my phone. I'm like, you get a heart, and you get a heart. You're spreading the love, man. You know. Unless the person's really annoying on Twitter, then they get a block. Yeah. And they don't exist anymore in my Twitter account. But that doesn't really happen that much. No, Most of the followers are pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, I think. It's interesting if you can, because you know a lot of people months. talk about like you know people on Twitter are pretty mean, and I'm like, well, I think it's like, even for my following, I've only had to block like 15 people. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Only 15. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's, Valdez, uh, Valdez I, I is like, be more. Jesus, man, I've blocked thousands <laughs> of people. People rip on me, man. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. We're back in game now, so we should be getting this yeah, going it, in it just looks a like second. This is a test to start. Okay, here. yeah, hold on. Uh, 
what if it doesn't work? What if for oh, whatever reason? No. What if it's like Hero has a curse in every computer he uses? It's those DTs. Now. Even when That's he gets a calculator, the yeah. one key doesn't work. He's like, <gasps> <gasps> even on his phone, he can't he can't dial any numbers because he can't use the one. That would be scary, man. I don't know if I could deal with that. If all of your one keys in the world just didn't work. I gotta go. I'm writing an esports horror story <laughs> right now, guys. Okay, we paused again. Oh, no, I, I think it's okay. I, think, I hope it's okay. I think it's, well, I hope so. It's actually, the worst esports Stephen King novel. It's like thinner, but instead it's with hotkeys. Thinner? You never read? You never heard no, thinner? I think that one just thinner? went totally over my head. I'm thinner like, is, is the Stephen King novel. <laughs> well, really I've only I've only read joke. one Stephen King book, and it was uh, The Stand. But there's a famous yeah. one he wrote called Thinner about a fat guy who uh, he I think he meets like uh, like a, I don't know like a witch doctor or something like that. Yeah. And then uh, he gets cursed, and so he ends up getting skinnier. And initially, it's great, right? Because he starts to get skinnier until he finds out he just keeps... Oh, it's a fat guy? Yeah, he's, it's oh, an okay. obese guy, but he starts to get skinnier and skinnier, right? And then eventually, he realizes he just can't stop getting skinny. He's starting to like, eat all this food, and he just oh, keeps getting... No. Yeah. It's supposed to be pretty good. That but, sounds uh, that, like that would an be interesting my... concept, actually. Yeah, he's, got to, wanna, he's, actually, he's, he's a pretty good writer. He's got... He's a, he's a little. Yeah, I've, a, I've it's a little bit long. It's I've a little. Well, sometimes I read his books and I'm like, man, okay, we got to we got to move on, Stephen. This is like you yeah. know, 900 pages. We need more editors. But uh, that's my esports horror story: is the guy who's slowly running out of hotkeys. Okay, imagine that. <laughs> All of a sudden, Meanwhile, he can only somewhere, use one key. somewhere at Evo, there's a Street Fighter player, and he's only able to use light kick. That's it. <laughs> He's oh, he's like ah, oh, it's like in the finals, and he's just running out of keys. That would be sick, man. It's only light kick on the bottom right side down on his joystick. Yeah. I I, I hope that would happen. He's gonna one ride time. it. We, That's we what should, I'm gonna do. What if there was a tournament where that was actually a rule set? You had to use only one button, like a light e kick or e -sports something. Esports funhouse is what we're talking about. <laughs> what if all the games are silly? <laughs> uh. What what's going on now? Now oh, we're out. That was we got a resume? Game. That was okay. a test game. So now it, it seems like everything's okay. So we're just casting like we're what we see here. It. I'm like, Again. also, what you guys can't see is there's a wallet and coffee on my desk. Yeah. There's also a water bottle and uh, some some garbage over there. I see over here on Brendan's desk. I see I'm, he has I'm a rabbit's guys. head for some reason. That's strange. No. Yes. Hey. Tasteless. That's don't, the secret don't about that's the secret right about now. Valdez. He can't he can't cast without it unless there's a dead <laughs> rabbit. Unless there's a dead head. dead rabbit on his desk. It's one of the weird things. Everybody if we ever want to just destroy here, Valdez, I, I kind of wanted to keep. I'm that taking your dead rabbit away. You're like, please, no, I can't cast without it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we've had a lot of downtime here. We are uh, checking time here. It's We're seven going seventeen. Crazy, actually. Well, we, we we will be by the end of today if there's this many delays. Yeah. Um, so this we are actually uh, a little bit three, behind right? schedule. Yeah. This, this yeah. Is game number three. Yeah, yeah. This is game three. Mm. Um. So, yeah, I mean, sit tight, guys. We should be getting back into this. This is the first time, actually, um, over here at Spo TV that I've ever experienced uh, anything like this. I think they're doing a good job handling it, though. It, it's pretty tricky, though, especially if it's something really weird, like a problem with a computer. Yeah. I don't understand. Has why anybody we're not ever right back into this heard of anything like this happening where, like, a key doesn't work? I've never, no. I've never. I mean, you were talking about it. We were talking about this during the break. You're like, it was funny how I mentioned I've never heard of anything like the J key yeah. just randomly doesn't work, and then they we hear that literally 30 seconds later, they're like, the one key doesn't work. Oh yeah, yeah. No, our producer said his <laughs> one key's not working, and I'm like, what? You're like, what? <laughs> what kind of I'm universe like, am I living in oh now? Oh my. God. God, what's <laughs> going on? That's that's basically what's happening. Out this here. is madness. I, everybody is really confused. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it solved. I I have faith in the production team here, Tasteless. Me too. It, we'll actually, get through this. There have been a very low number of issues throughout my years casting here, so I only really say good things. You do only say really good yeah. things, Valdez. <laughs> you only say good things, is that man. So? Yes. Tasteless only says loud things, and that's why we're a and team G -G. down here. G G G <laughs> like that. Yeah, Blood's like coming out of my mouth. You Spitting don't show blood. Up the next day, I'm like he actually. Died that's how I that G is. I'm actually like G G like right in Valdez's face every time. Yeah. Valdez's hair is blowing back. 
I get. I just have a really straight face on the whole time. The just really force angry. of my GGs is coming out at such a rate that your cheeks are going like, like, like that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I can't say anything during the GG or else it would just come out like <laughs> The whole time he's just grabbing on the desk like, oh, Jesus, his GGs are so powerful, they're blowing me away. Uh, I almost fell <sighs> off one time. That was kind of scary. That's right. I'm glad that's, I, that's why we built this back yeah, here, guys. We had to get a fence. So fence Valdez, otherwise yeah. Valdez would be blown. We'd have to get a new caster every can, time I see, cast. You guys can see the rest of the fence because we have a very nicely framed shot. Actually, yes. it only gets the back. But What you guys can't see, too, is... This. For all the fangirls, we have a moat around this desk with alligators in it, so they don't just, you know, just bum rush us, right? When the games, right? When the games, so there's all sorts of stuff you don't get to see you here. You just don't get to see uh, it, guys, unless you yes. come down to the studio. So book your ticket. Yes, come that's down. right. It's actually becoming a tourist attraction very fast. Uh, you want to take your pictures? There is a line. It's only like 15 minutes wait, but you'll, you'll get there. It's worth the wait. Okay, well, you know who's really having a good time is reality. Look at this guy. He's having a blast. <laughs> He's like, I love this. This is what I, I don't even. Up for I don't even I remember what my build gamer. was. This game's gone on. This delay's gone on for so long. It's like, who am I playing against again? I don't even remember. Was this KT on the other side? I don't know. He's like, am I reality? I don't even remember. What patch is this? What expansion? He's like, this is an Age of Empires tournament, right? <laughs> um, okay, so we're still waiting, guys. And um, I'll tell you what, tension really high here for Hero. I, this is going to be tough. He's got to maintain equanimity. Um, as he comes back here, because talk about, you know, first of all, it, you know, we've gotten to see this firsthand, uh, when you have players come down to the studio, you know, the coaches try to get them ready, uh, people like you and I, Valdez, I, I certainly make sure to leave the pro gamers alone. I'm not like yeah. sitting around backstage being like, so what are you going to do in game What's two? What's your build? What's do you your think you're going to win? Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh. Guys. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, Jay, say that one more, more time. Is that it? Thank you. Um, it has now been deemed that it was Hero's fault. Yep, he didn't have it set up correctly. It's all Hero's fault. He it's, didn't uh, bind the one key. Yeah, he did not bind the one key, uh, but he said it was the computer. And so he is getting, he is receiving a warning, which is pretty, pretty heavy. And um, yeah. And we are going to be restarting from the replay. Uh, after going his mothership core After explodes. his mothership core exploded, because that was probably so, the most impactful point here. Okay. Um, I didn't even see that the mothership core exploded. I'm going to be honest here. We're horrible so now, casters. Now I, I didn't see now that. Now I know <laughs> why this is, why Hero's like freaking out, you know, trying to pause a bunch. He's like, hey, I wasn't supposed to lose that. I had a one hot key. It didn't work. Stuff like that. So... We change the keyboard, we change the computer, we, we come back to this. This is a horrible situation for Hero, especially yeah, because... That kind of sucks. That man. sucks. I mean, okay, um, so we are resuming from the replay, and um, I got to say, uh, good job, Valdez, for filling in that amount of time. That's not easy we, to do. We did it, tasteless. We did it, we made it, and um, we're going to be going back into this game, Hero receiving a warning, and if I understand correctly, those warnings do... Excuse me, those warnings do... Uh, Remain through the entire season. Yes. Um, so I think uh, if that's... you get a couple, then it's you lose a point. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Don't quote me on this, but well, you know, the funny thing is, this happens so rarely, you kind of forget. You know, after yeah. casting a tournament that takes yeah. a couple months to go through. Um, so he has been warned. We are going to resume from where the mothership core was gunned down. Although I don't think we saw that on camera. No, I don't believe. So. I don't believe I we, we actually we caught it, that. Yeah. You know? Um, actually, I think it's the if you lose points, it's only for the rounds. I don't think it's the entire season. Well, probably if you kept doing it, you could lose it for the entire season. But yeah. um, all right, so we're gonna go back into this game. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, wait, we, wait, wait, we've come full circle, and we're basically in the same spot. So kind of a strange way to get here. Thanks for sitting through it, guys. You've uh, good to us have you guys a here. A wild journey through seeing what it's like to see. Uh, casters slowly go crazy as they fill more and more time. And as uh, Hero, unfortunately, has to go through this as well. I mean, it can't feel good to, to make a mistake like this and, uh, you know, have it eventually well, come to this outcome, you know. Certainly an awkward situation there for him. Um, all right, so hopefully we'll be resuming resuming in a second here. So sit tight, guys. Uh, I know it looks like we have it up uh, on screen here, but it's yep. not. We haven't started it up just yet. 
Uh, definitely, though, uh, we will probably not have any more delays from this point on. We should. At least with, uh, yeah. with stuff like that, because all the pro gamers are here right now watching this. So, um, kind of a scary moment, though, there for Hero. Yeah. Was not and prepared. For whatever reason, his hotkey won, which I guess after A is the most important hotkey in yeah. the game. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there you go. And you got to think he lost his mothership core. So that's a big that's deal. Right. He essentially lost it for free. Yeah. I mean, we didn't see it, but I'm sure it didn't do much damage. We've actually had a bumpy day here. Initially, my mic wasn't working over here. Yeah. And then and uh, that's, that's how we got these little backup mics out. here. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's uh. It's your third ear. That's my third out. ear. It's actually the I'm like, hold on. I think I hear what the fans are saying out there. And I'm like, it's just like <laughs> point it out there. It's your antenna, you know? Yeah. You get in tune with what's going this on. This is my feeler. Whenever I cast on the, le on the on the right side of the desk, I'm there. I'm like just touching my co-host. I'm God, like, geez, I'm very excited. So <laughs> I'm very excited about these builds. You like and that. your feeler, you keep feeling us. This is my avatar hook. If I want if I want to cast You're and really connect, we like hook them together. And yeah. I'm like, whoa, we're both seeing the same strats. That's the way it goes. I really your, want this uh, game to start. Side, Mike. <laughs> I really want this game to start. Well, it looks like everybody's ready. Okay. Oh, boy. Wait. Hold on. All right. Here we go. Countdown has started, guys. We are going to be back, unless there's another pause, in Three, this two, game. One. Resuming from uh, the most recent impactful part, and it is still early game, about four minutes in here. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So. Please, uh, God, no more pauses. Okay, so we're back into this game, and uh, I guess we, for the viewers who are just now joining us, or for the people who have forgotten, Hero is going for Warp Prism Speed and Fast Disruptors, Close Position Runes of Ceres, and is going to try to hit these shots. Here we go! All right, right back in the action here. The double adepts coming down now, doing a good amount of damage here to these SCVs. Shading forward, it looks like he's headed over here towards the expansion. No, actually going to shade back uh, and try to just do a little bit more damage over here to these SCVs. Will we have another disruptor drop coming in here? I would uh, assume so. I think he can. He's killed so many of these workers. Here it comes again. Does miss. Yeah, a bit of a whiff there. And but we have a push coming down here for Terran, going down towards the expansion. A disruptor already ready. And remember, guys, he does not have a mothership core for any overcharges. He can't stop this in the main. What am I to go for the burrow? Okay, he did remake that mothership core. And he takes out the disruptor, but no medivacs here, which means more and more damage going to be dealt. However, we don't see any detection here just yet. Oh, he's going to use the disruptors. This is cool. Yeah, oh, you know, that's a cool solution. That hadn't occurred to me. But yeah, of course you could use that uh, yeah. to take out those widow mines there. And, uh, Looks like the game's going to begin to normalize here. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of questioning. Well, here we go. Widow Mine dropping down again. That's a really small choke. Well, that was so scary. That could have been a lot more dangerous than it actually was. Okay, good pick up there. And he will be able to escape while keeping a light contain over here outside of Hero's base. We should see the Disruptor start to come back in there and try to do some more damage. Now, keep in mind, with this strat, you don't have to drop where the workers are. You can also drop uh, towards the front and try to just hit Marines and Marauders that are parked out there. Okay, definitely going to be worth it to go back. Keep in mind, you have a lot more liberty to move around the map when you do have the Warp Prism speed. Oh! Dropping it out. The two Disruptors do get out. But now Beautiful they, play. That is amazing read by reality. He brought his small force, and now Hero is down a warp prison and two disruptors. Pretty huge, man. Getting blink here, but overall, this is a pretty uh, disastrous game. What? Looks like his turret might burn down. What? Did he attack his turret? <laughs> Did that yeah. actually just happen? Actually, that's a good question. How, did, nothing, how uh, is that burning? He must have attacked it. There was nothing on the ground there for Hero. This is where we find out there's a problem with reality's computer. Just, <laughs> his, his buildings, right, buildings just catch just on burn. fire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the handicap that he That's gets. That's the handicap for... he gets is that there's, there, there's a serious fire hazard there. Yeah. All of his buildings don't have fire really exits flammable. either. Yeah. yeah. Well, Hero's kind of in an awkward spot now, uh, losing a lot of very expensive units. It turns out he did have his mothership core. Uh, not sure. If he remade that, I didn't see it on the production tab. It seemed like it was just there. So maybe he never lost in the first place. Maybe I just received bad information. But it was there, and it did help out in the defense, actually, very much so at the natural. 
Okay, a Terran has the opportunity to try to push in again here. Now, Medivac's being uh, with the party is going to be a lot stronger for these Marines Marauders. He can actually stim, and he doesn't have to commit, whereas when you don't have anything and you stim, you're probably... Uh, <laughs> you basically have to commit every time. Nice shot here! Uh, and I think what might be a huge upset, Hero might just end up losing this game. There's a lot going wrong for him here right now. Seems very oh. shaken. We got to drop it here, but it's going to be taken down. As I'm saying, he's shaken. Hero proves me wrong. Still does lose that third base, but... Problem is, is that the uh, worker count is close enough, but supplies are different enough that it looks like uh, Reality should just have a bigger, stronger army. And the fact that Hero's coming out, well, this could be an issue. Uh-oh. Okay, good thing he saved that there. By the way, plus one attack about to finish right before Protoss gets to this third base here. Brand new third base for Terran. This doesn't really seem funny. doesn't seem like reality is actually prepared for this. Yeah, he's not in position right now. He's got some units at the top of the ramp, but we got disruptors here. Looks like he may try to zone out with the disruptors and try to take out this command center. He may just be able to. That would be pretty huge. The Liberator's coming down right now, but the CC does go down. Terran may do a counterattack over here, possibly even into the second. He could even get that disruptor, uh, but it looks like instead he might end up getting sandwiched here as his Protoss army is returning home. Yeah, and he's just going to be able to fight against this. He's going to blink right on top of that Terran army, and there's really nowhere that reality can go from here. He's got a very strong army behind this. He may try to draw Hero's army out of position and take a favorable fight somewhere out on the map with the rest of his army. Nice job there. He does gun down the... Um, he does... Oh, hold up, hold up. Scan here. He's got the disruptors ready. Looks like an observer did go down with the scan. Terran, it looks like he's interested in a counter push here. Uh, it's been knocked down to two base versus two base. Looks like the third base is just finishing, though, for Hero, as I say that. And uh, Reality is going to start in a little bit of a deficit here. I do think with the Liberators, if he pushes correctly, he can actually get in there and do some damage as long as he just uh, dodges the Disruptor shot. Yeah, you got to dodge the Disruptor shot. You got to get your Liberators in a position. Ooh! Oh Looks my like god, I almost the... choked on my drink. <laughs> the War Prism going down. I'm not sure what it had in there. Did he have... Uh, wait, let's check over here. Does he have the... Um, He's got five disruptors. So. Five disruptors. So uh, even if he had disruptors in there, it's still basically okay. And we're going to have a drop down to the main with an attack over here on the side. Disruptor shot going to totally miss. But look at how much stuff is in the main. A couple of overcharges are going to go down. Disruptor shot misses again. Uh, he's got to be careful. If he loses those disruptors, it's going to be disastrous. Coming up here now, disruptor shots are missing. Yeah, he's really focusing on way too many areas at one time. He's moving his army over here to and try to shut down 22 this. 22 kills on the probes as that attack occurred. Oh, man. Heroes, he's really having a tough time shutting down these two drops. That was a fantastic drop by Reality. Now he's got these Liberators in position. He can decide if he wants to stay there or if he wants to go. Either way, I think he's done so much damage. He may even get this Nexus. Oh my god, this is pretty big. Um, going to back up though from that Disruptor. Doing a good job. Looks like a reality, not quite a journey here, able to keep up on, on top of every single attack uh, as he's executing it. But still, uh, definitely st staying ahead right now. Hero is in a lot of trouble and could very well lose this game. Yeah, loses the Nexus there. Kind of let it fall down, unfortunately. Then he decides to go in and blink underneath this... Terran army, and he's going to finally clean it up, but Reality, ooh, he's going to get that medevac. Yeah, re re Reality's doing a good job. He's getting a little bit sloppy with some of these attacks. Not like, you know, Maru or TY when we watch him play. And this is going to trigger Hero to try to do a counterattack. Now, it's Mass Stalker, which means it all comes down to control here for Protoss. Yeah, and he is going to have plus two here. It did just complete, but he's only got Stalkers, just like you said, against Marine and Medivac. Oh my god, and he gets the Warp Prism again! And, you know, after all these delays, this has turned into one of the most action-packed games we've casted here at S uh, SPL. Yeah, really nice Disruptor shot there. Does get a couple of those Widow Mines. Warp in here should be able to stop that. The Disruptor coming in, getting a nice shot once again. I think there's just no way that Protoss can actually get in there and do any more damage. A boost here from the Medivac, because he's going to try to do as much damage as possible. I think realizing these are just adepts, he tries to re-engage. Uh, unfortunately for Reality, he's not spreading out those Widow Mines. I think the Medivac is actually out of energy here. It looks like it. He's kind of 
having trouble positioning his army. It looks like reality is a bit shaken up as well. Really struggling to keep that third base. Hero has not rebuilt his main. He is trying to just seeds the third, I suppose, and get comfortable, get the two bases he has saturated. Because he's only got 35 workers still. Okay, the Warp Prism is coming up again. We have the Liberators in position. And a big drop coming down now towards... Oh my god, that's actually a lot of important tech he could hit right there. And I'm under the impression the hero can't actually break this unless he gets a totally sick Disruptor hit on the clump of that. And There's this means the drop. That is a lot of units in the main going directly for the Oh, this is so good. To stop it. Hero has to do damage right now. Can he pull it off? A dodge there on the Disruptors. He's pulled SCVs. He knows all he has to do is survive for the time being, and he should be in good shape. Oh, Hero going for the big blink. He takes out both of the Liberators, but he has no more blink. And the Disruptors are on cooldown. A really nice concave here for reality as well. He shuts down this entire Protoss army. GG! Hero has been shish kebab. Ooh. Nicely done there by Reality. A tense moment. We had that delay. Um, he Hero coming in here not prepared with the right setup on his hockeys. Not prepared for a uh, harass back and forth. PBT. A real slugfest, man. A bloody game at that. And that's going to put Samsung in the lead here. Uh, that uh, definitely one of the big upsets. And now we're going to go on to the uh, our next match, which is Hush against um, Bravo. Yeah, and we were talking about this before. That that is a very even match. Really could go either way there. Uh, it is going to be on Alrena, which is only going to make it that much more crazy. But reality coming in where Solar couldn't necessarily step up and is going to at least force an ace match. What a weird day. We've had a lot of uh, oh, surprises yeah. already so far. I guess minus Deer winning that pretty straightforward PVZ, but um, Hero, you know, definitely, you know, this guy's in a lot of ways the backbone of his team. Yeah. The MVP losing in, in somewhat of an embarrassing way, already not even prepared with his hotkeys. Unfortunate for him in that moment. Reality definitely uh, breathes a sigh of relief as he has now done his part on his team, Samsung Galaxy, to get one step closer to that victory here against SK to our. Um, CJ, I don't know yeah. why. I don't know. You know what happened? My brain broke because I saw the sponsor, SK Telecom, yeah. in the background. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> but, These yeah. are the pitfalls of being a caster, guys. Uh -huh. So um, we're now going to go down to Hush against Bravo. Yeah, and I think we should get right into that. I don't think there should be a break because we did have a lot of downtime. Want to finish out this, uh, this right. match up here. Um, we, we might not even be having um, the end interviews here, depending. Um, it's possible. So make sure that everybody can get home. Yeah. But we're uh, done. that was a really interesting game. I mean, Hero obviously had his downfalls. He wasn't playing necessarily very solid, but Reality had some nice moments where he caught the Warp Prism a couple of times. He was doing a really nice job with the, the Doom Drops in the main, and then at the same time attacking the third. Hero had so much trouble splitting up his army, and Reality was really on top of his multitasking, making sure he didn't get hit by any disruptors. Y you know what else, too? Um, he lost a lot of Warp Prisms back there. Yeah. I think it was at least two. Two, two or three. Yeah. In, in, in pretty pivotal moments. I mean, there was one where he had the two disruptors, and there were a couple where he was trying to reinforce attacks, and he wasn't able to do it. And ultimately, reality just came out on top. Yeah. Uh